ओके थैंक यू सो मच सिमंदर टीम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग दिस एंड हाय गाइस आई एम श्रीपाल जैन आई एम वन ऑफ द को फाउंडर फॉर सिमंदर एजुकेशन आई एम अ क्वालिफाइड चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट एंड अ लाइसेंस यूएस सीपीए टुडे वी हैव अ ग्रेट न्यूज आई वुड से सिमंदर डिड इट अगेन दैट इज अ हैशटैग व्हिच इज गोइंग आउट ऑन ऑल द सोशल मीडियाज एंड आफ्टर कवनीत लास्ट ईयर uh this year we have dhruv patel who have won the elija watsells award uh, from sivandar education and as you know the elija watsells award scores are like we never used to get in our i would say nursery or first class or second class also okay. so i'll just tell dhruv patel scores before i introduce uh, dhruv uh, far 98 uh, regulation 98 right uh, uh, regulation 97 bc yeah. 98 and audit 91 Right, so he scored uh, audit ninety one. So I'll just identify what are the reasons why he couldn't score a ninety eight there. But before that, outstanding achievement, Dhruv. And uh, I am again a proud faculty. Like I said last year, even to Kavneet, we are extremely proud uh, that you are our student. And uh, I mean, I know that there have been several calls to you from uh, different people of yeah. Samandar, uh, including myself. And uh, so it. how does it feel through first of all uh, after uh, actually checking your final score how did you feel about it? okay so hello sir uh, i checked my score at 5:30 around in the noon so uh, you know you have heard of that song aaj main upar aasman niche that was a feeling because in ci i wasn't able to get all india rank so i am happy to get the elija watsell award in us cpa uh, so dhruv uh, just to let the audience know so dhruv have completed the entire cpa exam in a less than a year dhruv yeah. so this is like uh, less than 10 months so dhruv is a qualified chartered accountant unlike kavneet last year he was a semi qualified ca who got a elija watsell award just to brief about dhruv dhruv himself is a qualified chartered accountant he was working with icici bank before uh, for 5 months and now he studied full time less than 10 months i would say not even 12 months yeah. <laughs> he completed all the four sections with such amazing scores right so dhruv uh, first tell us why did you opt for uh, cpa considering yeah. that you were already a chartered accountant why cpa in the first yeah. instance yeah so sir after qualifying uh, after qualifying as a chartered accountant then i saw the need that there is a requirement for a global recognition and i found that us cpa was a good alternative for me so i then went for us cpa for a global recognition and do i and to add to that the best part of doing us cpa from simandar you get your result on 11th of october and you get a call on 12th of october from a big four so it's really a good thing may like good to see that that big four have so i think our placement team have done good yeah yeah there. 100 yeah <laughs> always on support they outstanding actually so good people who are watching them are watching uh, dhruv out so next day you have got call from big force uh, that just shows the market for uh, cpa course right uh, so dhruv having said that that uh, you wanted an international exposure and that's one of the reason why you opted for cpa uh, just not the local exposure which you get through chartered accountancy so now quickly tell us uh, dhruv among all the four sections which section you went ahead with first and why Yeah. So first of all, I went with BEC. Uh, the basic reason was that it was the smallest. But the main tip I want to give here is that though it is smallest, but don't take it lightly. It has certain concepts, and there you require Simanta lectures because certain concepts requires in-depth knowledge, and Simanta provides that uh, in-depth knowledge through their lectures. So I went with first BEC, and then went with audit, then reg, and then FAR. FAR be the biggest, so I kept it at the end. okay so normally people have a contrarian view right like people tend to start far first because that's the toughest because that's the 18 month window will start right hmm. so most of them they wait here sripal sir ke classes ka start hoga tab far start karenge and all those things and i keep telling them that our recorded classes are as useful as our live classes so you yeah, just right. don't wait for the batch to start yeah right 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 so like uh, recorded lectures uh, helps you a lot usme aap agar miss bhi kar jao live lectures so recorded lectures aap catch up bhi kar sakte ho and you can complete at your own own pace and you can complete it at a faster pace i think okay so uh, guys uh, dhruv had a contrarian view here so he started off with bc instead of far so 
he happens to write far at the end right and he started off with bc considering bc is an easier section still dhruv says that there are certain things where bc also becomes extremely tough so we will come to the respective section study strips and study strategy because dhruv everyone here is interested that how did dhruv achieve they are really not interested that simandar have got this award or the simandar student have achieved that but they want to know what is the secret and how did you score this so our entire session dhruv will be today on how did you went through that right so starting off straight away with bc because you started off with bc so what was your strategy for bc section so okay so bc i went with the lectures then second thing i went with all the mcqs which the software provides then completed all the simulations so without mcqs and simulations you cannot sail through the cpa exams for sure that's right so this was the strategy then uh, i as you always tell right that you need to give the full course test before attending or even before scheduling your exam so i also went with the full course test so when i was confident then you can schedule the exams accordingly for bec okay so guys what dhru said like uh, i keep advising in our videos that's what he is telling us do not go for the exam till you don't score a minimum of 85 80. in the mocks yeah. so a lot of them try attempts to act uh, a bit smart and they go to the exam and they think that i got 60 65 i might get in the real exam 90 95 so it don't happen yeah. right so dhruv have calculated that and he knew that in the mock he need to score above 85 so yeah. there are almost three mocks in the becker software yeah. right and also with samandar new lms guys we have also added more mock exams now in the coming mm-hmm. months so please ensure that till you don't score a minimum of 85 in the mocks don't go to the exam is what dhruv is telling so dhruv everyone solves mcqs everyone solves simulation what is that you have done differently in those mcqs and sims so sir uh, when i completed my lectures i went with mcqs so the one thing i made sure i followed in all the course sections that koi bhi mcq right hai to q right hai and if it is tricky i would mark their mcq and the wrong mcq is always uh, you mark it right so when you revise them so you go with the marked mcq so this helps a lot this helps a lot really so you can quickly glance where you were wrong so next time you don't make the same mistake okay so people who are watching us out please understand why behind those mcqs it's just not about what is the answer it's about understanding why is that answer and also understanding why the other options are incorrect because people tend to kind of see this option is right and they then don't tend to analyze why the other options are incorrect which yeah. is very important when you are doing the mcqs and all so dhruv what was the strategy for written communication simulations in bc uh written communications uh the software provides with the written communications in a practice so i uh the main thing i want to add that what i did after writing the written communication i would copy and paste in the microsoft word so you know you can get where you went wrong in the grammar and all that so this helps uh, uh in your bc exams more so because in written communications they will test mainly your grammar skills more and where you are going wrong no the concept is also important but the grammar skills how you phrase the entire answer that's also important in written communication skills so i added a more step that i would copy the entire answer and paste in the word and see okay what is the wrong okay so uh, what was uh, the number of hours you have devoted for bc like how many months it took to yeah. complete bc on a daily basis how many hours you used to uh, study for bc so uh, bc in the first subject after leaving my job so i was fully dedicated in dedicated to it and uh i was that main mere tha ke may mein dena ye exam after studying for april the entire month so it uh, i made almost 8 hours a day because i was in full time study so 8 ghante to har roz deta deta hi tha usko and how many months it took for you to complete bc Exa- uh, exactly one month okay so uh, he completed guys in one month and he scored 98 in bc yeah. and studied 8 hours at a stretch so people who are listening us please understand the number of hours which are devoted so that is overall 240 hours and it's hours. not just number of hours it's about the quality of hours yeah. right it's just not about okay i have studied 16 hours so i should also get 98 it doesn't make sense because you need to study with quality and with logic and conceptually right so dhruv having said that that what would be the pattern so you would go first with lectures then hmm. mcqs then simulations 
and you would tend to solve all the MCQs and sims, or you used to leave some of the MCQs or no, sims. No, no, no. I would solve all the MCQs and all the simulations, and mark the MCQs. Simulations, I sab mark nahi karta tha, but I would used to mark the MCQs. And there are also mini exams in the software. They provide mini exams after you complete two sections. It's a mini exam. So when I when I go through the mini exam, then वापस पूरा रिवाइज करता था वन एंड टू फिर मैंने एग्जाम देता था तो वापस वो कंसेप्ट भी रिवाइज हो जाता था मेरा सो एट एस्ट मतलब एट लीस्ट थ्री टाइम्स आई वुड रिवाइज बिफोर सेटिंग इन द एक्चुअल टेस्ट ओके सो ध्रुव हाउ मेनी रिविजन्स यू हैव डन फॉर बीईसी हाउ मेनी राउंड्स ऑफ रिविजन डिड यू फॉलो टू रिविजन स्ट्रेटजी वन रिविजन स्ट्रेटजी थ्री रिविजन स्ट्रेटजी एंड डिड यू आल्सो रेफर द फ्लैश कार्ड्स या सो या फ्लैश कार्ड्स इज इंपोर्टेंट सो बेसिकली uh suppose there are six sections in bec right so after two sections there is a mini exam so when i complete my first section i would make sure that i would take an unlimited practice test which would consist of 20 to 30 mcqs and two to three sims then after completing section 1 and section 2 there is a mini exam in mini exams i would refer the flash cards and some notes which i have a habit to take so i would just refer the notes and then i would sit for the mini exam then there is three four mini exam five six mini exam and then when i uh, attend the full course test so usme to pura flash cards revise karta tha marked mcqs dekh leta tha aur ye apni notes dekh leta tha then i would sit for the full course test to dhruv aapne kitne revision kiya so how many rounds three, of three. revisions you followed for bc 3 3 okay so three rounds of revision hmm. in one month eight yeah. hours every day <laughs> Yeah. Right, and so at the end you need to extend it because we are uh, in a CA, so you know Correct. what the pressure is. Yes, sir. So last week, so it is. Yeah, we are the CA. We are more better. Understand, Dhruv? We are. 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 We uh so after bc you selected reg or audit 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 i went okay. to audit audit now audit is considered to be the toughest section in cpa <laughs> so what was uh, your strategy for audit and how many months it took for audit hmm. so basically audit i want to just clarify that uh, i am not fond of audit part basically through my article ship days also uh, i was more interested in text than audit so audit was not my cup of tea so in audit also i uh, in audit i took one month and 10 days to be precise and same same sort of strategy that going with the lectures then the mcqs and then simulations and don't forget to go through the ai cpa new english questions and their mock tests that they give okay and uh, how about uh, dhruv actually when we uh, when we talk about uh, in audit right so the simulations are very lengthy if you yeah. see in audit because of the exhibits and all so what was your strategy for audit simulations so first of all you need to go through the question first rather than just uh, clicking through the exhibits right there are many exhibits so you will waste your uh, much of your time in clicking the exhibit and saying kya hai kya hai first go through the question and then uh, uh, sometimes they would in the exhibit also they would tell that this exhibit is for this thing matlab name de dete the then it would be easy baki कॉपी कॉपी एक्सिबिट वन एक्सिबिट टू करके देते हैं वो लोग सो इट्स बेटर टू गो थ्रू द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट एंड देन यू शुड गो विद एक्सिबिट सो बेसिकली यू कैन कंप्लीट इट विद इन द ट्वेंटी मिनट्स व्हिच इज द स्टैंडर्ड टाइम फॉर अ सिम्युलेशन ओके एंड हाउ मेनी राउंड्स ऑफ रिविजंस यू हैव डन फॉर ऑडिट आर द सेम थ्री राउंड्स थ्री राउंड्स सो गाइस बीसी वन मंथ ऑडिट वन मंथ टेन डेज ही कंप्लीटेड ऑडिट एग्जाम नाउ थ्री राउंड्स ऑफ रिविजन अगेन एट आवर्स लास्ट वन वीक ट्वेल्व थर्टीन आवर्स राइट सो दैट्स हाउ टॉपर स्टडी so again now coming to regulation so what regulation also the same strategy through same, same mcqs but so, uh, here yeah the main thing was regulation was my favorite subject i was i'm fond of tax so uh, i really found it interesting to study the reg and this is the subject if you see that it is totally different because taxation of india and us are totally different you can find similarities in audit right but in reg it's totally different from indian tax so I, and been found of tax uh, i took one month and 15 days to complete the reg section okay so uh, again one month 20 days for regulation one ah, month yeah. 10 days for audit and one month for uh, bc 
so guys who all are watching us i think you might be wondering that how is that that the sections are getting completed because dhruv was referring through the recorded lectures of samandar yeah. becker and all those stuff right so our recorded classes are as useful as our live classes also mm. so you don't need to worry all right uh, so now comes the last section which is far so i know far takes the maximum the, amount of time because it's voluminous so what is the strategy you followed for far dhruv and how so, many rounds of revision again for far so the b c the first been the smallest but it is the trickiest i will say for far though it is the lengthy but it is not difficult at all if you go step by step understand the concepts so you will not find that 10 chapters matlab kuch zyada hi hai you can consume the 10 chapters in a systematic manner in again three rounds of study and i took 1.5 months entire 1.5 months in that thing okay far. so i think overall within 6 to 7 months dhruv we have completed yeah. it in between if there are some durations of 1 month 2 months and all because of the slots so yeah. i think guys the overall cpa mm-hmm. have been completed uh, i think within 8 to 9 months this is unbelievable and incredible right because the sheer hard work and the number of hours which are put in guys is 8 hours now having said that working professionals i don't think mm-hmm. so that you can take out 8 hours in a day and that's why i tell in my youtube that you might tend to complete cpa in 12 months instead of 7 to 8 months like dhruv have completed so yeah. dhruv have completed within 8 months you guys might take additional 4 months so this course can be well completed within a span of 12 months if you are dedicated if you study 2 to 3 hours in a day i think that is more than sufficient and you just need to uh you don't even need to go through the live classes you can watch the recorded of samandar and then kind of go in there wherever you find any doubts you can just kind of go through the telegram groups and finish it off right yeah. and that's one of the reason through we don't encourage much of a physical classes also because yeah. when you go for a physical class you need to come to the class saturday sunday keep traveling yeah. so sometimes the course goes beyond one and a half part to two one and a half years to two years yeah, yeah. right but with this it becomes little easier through what is and your with, and with sir uh, main thing about recorded lectures is that even if you miss um, live lectures chal rahe so there's a possibility that you miss one or two lectures is wo link toot jati hai then you lo- lose the motivation but with the recorded lectures you know you you have to complete yahan tak hai fir aage ye karna hai so recorded lectures are the best for working professionals i think okay. <laughs> so they so dhruv ek baat batao how is that that you have maintained the motivation dekho sabko karna hai aaj sab log video dekh rahe everyone is very motivated dhruv have achieved this they also want to score like you no one wants to score less right no one likes that yeah. everyone has an ambition that they also want to score 98 97 how is that that you have maintained that consistency of 8 hours because dekho teacher bhi hai samandar bhi acha hai yeah. everything is good the only thing which drives anyone is the motivation okay. the discipline right so yeah. i will my questions will be on that only rather than yeah. the concept and all everyone can get that yeah. if they do that but what have made you to be consistent and motivated in this process yeah. so recently you know you shared a post that how badly you need the oxygen of socrates and right so uh, this is the thing how badly you need uh, you you, uh, you need the scores right so after leaving the job for after completing the job for 5 months then i was totally free and ek tha ke nahi kamni principal ne achieve kiya so why can not i so always aimed for elijah watson's award so aim higher to bhale wo nahi hai to usse thoda niche aayega but you will be satisfied so always aimed higher and yahi tha ke bas i i wasn't able to score an all india rank in ca so i was like that i should score uh, at least i should uh, try to achieve the award of elijah watson's award in my us cpa to through aisa batao i mean uh, uh, jo log fail ho jate unke liye kya tips hai matlab what is your uh, uh, views on them like what is one tip or one strategy which you want to give them people who are attending but they are unsuccessful in their cpa exams or any other professional exam what is that one piece of advice would you want to give to them so that they are also consistent and be mm-hmm. a performer like you so i also failed in my ca exams i i didn't clear in my first course so i know what's the pain what is the pain of failing right so consistency is the key and second thing is i know the situations are different for everyone aisa nahi hota ki har koi it a study kar sakta hai they have their own situations right but after failing you need to know that uh, becoming a cpa the life is totally different like i received 11th october i received my results and 
from yesterday night till today i received so many calls even from hr from many from various students and so so the feeling is different to be on the other end and life is really good on the other end so always aim for cpa so uh, what is the role of a parents here in your journey through because i have seen that in the linkedin anyways most of them mentioned me so i don't want uh anyways to be pointed out what samandar is doing and what they are not because this video is definitely not for marketing samandar because it's completely for students so dhrup mere ko batao sripal sir aur samandar ko chhod ke ek maa baap ka role kaise raha hai kyunki aapne linkedin pe you have tagged your parents as well right yeah. and your wife so no, what was my sister yeah a sister, sister sorry yeah. not wife so uh, what was the role of them dhrup so how so... did they kind of contributed in this journey first of all talking about uh, my father he encouraged me to leave my job at icici he said koi baat nahi dhru on 6 months the salary nahi aayegi utna hi na but be dedicated to us cpa so this was the main motivation that i got from him that to leave the job and full time study for the us cpa that's only pause i think so with working for me uh, along with work and studying and scoring this big it is impossible for me because i know my capacities my mother uh, she always take takes care of my schedule ke ruko kab khana chahiye ruko kab ye chahiye so always she is a housewife so always takes care of me ke uska studies disturb nahi hona chahiye and my sister lives in us so she is the main motivation force for me actually i was going with an investment banking course but she told dru uh, she lives in us so she to always tells ke dru uh, us cpa has a vast opportunity you should pursue that and so she was the motivating factor which uh, through which i enrolled for us cpa so kinjal is telling dhruv is an amazing brother and a son so i'm just going through the youtube <laughs> comments of many of them who are watching us so i'll just open up to q and a from the uh, i would say from youtube as well so guys just hang on there uh, so dhruv uh, uh, one question i have so would you like to advise people who are working professional to leave their job and study for cpa full time and pass it do you think that's a very riskier bet or risk free bet so do you suggest to the people ki yaar job se aapko lag raha hai ki bahut zyada time ho raha hai so because i know many of them know what connection samandar has and uh, yeah, what right. my corporate connections are there so i can definitely place them yeah. but can they take that risk of passing because if they fail i mean neither i or samandar can place we we still place the pursuing people also people, yeah. but you understand if you are a qualified mm. you get a better job better package yeah correct right. so do you think that can we go ahead and give that advice to the working professionals to quit their job for 6 months and study whole dedicatedly and finish yeah. off the cp or they can go along with the job study 2 3 hours because they are having financial challenges what do you yeah. suggest so so um, when i left my job my uh, my superior also asked me ke dhru future job chal raha hai you can definitely pursue your uscp you are a, and everyone is like you are a you are a chartered accountant so you can do the uscp but uscp is a professional course and professional course requires time and dedication and consistency so if you are desperate in getting a uscp and you are and matlab wo pursue hi karna hai uscp mein career then i would suggest that it's time to take some time off and pursue your us cpa but uh, agar aap you if you are satisfied with your job and you are going good with your job then say uh, 100% it is possible to complete us cpa along with your uh, working life okay thank you so much ruv yeah, that just that, uh, just a second no no shivaz sir uh, before we go with the q and a i know this is not a marketing strategy but i need to add one or two points which really uh, impacted me so uh, when i enrolled for simander right so it is just like it up you sit back and relax and study full time and all the formalities will be taken care by simandar right and the formalities are really difficult aisa nahi hai ki chalo ek mail kar diya khatam ho gaya there is registration fir wahan pe aapko bhejna bhi hota hai site transcript so i just want to share two instances if you permit right so there is uh, sonam from simandar so uh, i know i still remember that at 8 o'clock in the night i messaged her and just sent a photo ke kaisa cover sirf cover letter uh, bana ke bhejna tha wahan pe us post karna tha so i just asked her ke aisa cover letter bana hai uspe ye likha hai is it fine so within two minutes she replied ke ha barabar i was not expecting a call because at 8:30 no one is working but this is a support you get from samandar second thing 
वेन आई रजिस्टर्ड फिर कुछ फीस पे करके आपका अकाउंट बना रहा है नाजबा पे समथिंग लाइक दैट आई एक्चुअली डोंट रिमेंबर तो आई पेड द फीस एंड माय क्रेडिट कार्ड स्टेटमेंट इज शोइंग आल्सो दैट द पेमेंट इज डन बट आई वाज अनएबल टू लॉग इन सो आई आई जस्ट रेज द टिकट दैट आई द टिकट सिस्टम ऑफ सिमंदर व्हिच इज फैंटास्टिक सो आई जस्ट रेज द टिकट एंड देयर वाज अ गाय नेम राहुल रॉय राइट सो ही जस्ट कॉल्ड मी एट 8:00 क्लॉक एंड सेड के यस आई एम फ्रॉम सिमंदर सो आई टोल्ड दैट इट्स एट 8 सो के नो आई वाज आई एम लिविंग फॉर माय वीक ऑफ फ्रॉम टुमारो सो आई वाज जस्ट क्लियरिंग माय डेस्क सो मैं सोचा कि आपकी हेल्प कर दूं तो आई जस्ट आस्क के ऐसे सब पैसे कट हो गए पर आई एम नॉट एबल टू लॉग इन सो ही सेड डोंट वरी वी विल फाइंड अ वे और अगर फाइंड वे मिला भी नहीं ना तो शिपाल सर इज कनेक्शन टू दैट लेवल के आपके पैसे वापस लेके दे देंगे सो दिस इज द सेटिस्फैक्शन दैट यू गेट एंड सो यू आर नॉट bothered about the registration process you can sit back and study full time wo simander team dekh rahi hai and that is the best part of simander i mean this is uh, amazing uh, because it's always feels good to listen about your team uh, about your team members so fantastic job rahul and sonam to see that they are working late 8:30 9 o'clock because these days through you know that yeah. <laughs> many of the employees don't work beyond so there's work life balance and all and i'm very happy that Simander employees could contribute uh, to your success as well, and thank you so much for mentioning them. Uh, really uh, amazing, and kudos to Rahul and Sonam from our team. Uh, Rahul is actually in the webinar, if I'm not wrong. I don't know if he's watching us, but definitely uh, I'll just ensure that he gets <laughs> rewarded for his efforts. So thank you so much, Dhruv, for mentioning yeah. the team. Okay, so guys who are watching us out, so that's all we had from Dhruv. At least from my side, whatever is the interview which I wanted to take from Dhruv on behalf of the majority of the questions which you sent it to me since morning, sir. How many hours he has studied? What he has done? What he has worn? What he has worn? All those things, everything I have asked, guys. Now over to you. Some of the questions, Dhruv. We'll just take it up for yeah, last ten sure, sure. minutes, and then we should wrap this up very nicely. So the first question is from I am a semi qualified CA and preparing for US CPA. I want to ask, how did you get a motivation to study and get over CA final failure because you also failed in CA once? Yeah. So, uh, <coughs> uh, in twelfth I scored third rank in all Gujarat. So I was pretty sure that I would clear CA in first attempt. But when CA final ka result aaya, then I saw that I failed. So. बहुत ही बड़ा झटका लगा था बट आफ्टर फ्यू डेज आई नो के सी ए कम्प्लीट करना ही है एंड आई वॉन्टेड दैट डिग्री दैट वॉज अस्पिरेशन दैट आई वॉन्टेड दैट डिग्री सो आई जस्ट कैप दैट असाइड माई ग्रीफ एंड ऑल दैट थिंग एंड स्टूड बैक एंड आई थॉट दैट कुछ कम हो गया था आई मतलब कुछ घंटे कम हो गए थे सो लेट्स री एम बस दैट एंड गेट दैट डिग्री सो फेलियर टीच इज योर लॉट बट मेन थिंग टू उसमें से सीख के बाहर आ जाना है फिर उसमें आप रहोगे तो इट्स नो नो मीनिंग सो द सेकंड क्वेश्चन कम्स इज हाउ इज द प्लेसमेंट असिस्टेंस एट सिमंदर सानिया कौशिक या सो शी शी वाजंट एट द बिगनिंग सो सानिया आई वांट टू शेयर दैट 11th अक्टूबर 5:30 आई गॉट माय रिजल्ट एंड एट 12th अक्टूबर 11 एएम आई गॉट अ कॉल फ्रॉम बिग फोर सो दिस इज द प्लेसमेंट असिस्टेंस ऑफ सिमंदर इज द बेस्ट इंस्टेंस आई कैन गिव टू यू ओके सो थैंक यू ध्रुव सो सानिया जस्ट टू आंसर दैट वी प्लेस द पीपल हुर नॉट फ्रॉम सिमंदर ऑल्सो इन सी पी ए सो यू कैन जस्ट इमेजिन द लेवल ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट कनेक्शन वी हैव एंड द टाइप्स वी हैव सो यू कैन ऑलवेज फॉलो आर पेज ऑन लिंकड इन एंड ऑल सो यू डोंट नीड टू वरी वी डोंट गिव असिस्टेंस वी गिव गैरंटी फॉर सी पी ए सो आई कैन नॉट कॉल द वर्ड असिस्टेंस इन प्लेसमेंट सो दैट इज आर लेवल ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस वॉट वी हैव ऑन आर प्लेसमेंट एज ध्रुव ऑलरेडी सेट दैट यू हैव गॉट Uh, already a call from big fours which i was not aware but okay so sanika has a question uh, dhruv in studies do you used to make your own notes or no notes just solving mcqs since no i used to make notes because last the flash card the flash card are comprehensive but kabhi kabhi wo kuch concepts lack karte hai so i used to make notes so it is easy for me to refer at the end so जब एग्जाम के तीन दिन बाकी तो यू कैन गो थ्रू योर नोट्स एंड क्विकली रिकैप द कॉन्सेप्ट्स बिकॉज ये सब कॉन्सेप्ट्स पे ही है सिमुलेशंस आ रहे हैं सो इफ यू आर थ्रू विद योर कॉन्सेप्ट देन यू कैन डेफिनेटली स्कोर गुड ऑन सिमुलेशंस ओके सो शुड वी रिवाइज ऑल सिम्स बिफोर एग्जाम आई मीन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वन वीक बिफोर द एग्जाम व्हाट ध्रुव यूज्ड टू डू फॉर ऑल द फोर सब्जेक्ट्स Yeah. So should you used to revise everything again, or what would you do? Last one week strategy, Dhruv. 
So first of all, uh, make sure that AICP and unit list questions are done. I am talking about the last week. Okay. Second, AICP mock test is done. Third thing, uh, after complete after giving a simulator exams one and two, you go through where you went wrong. Then there is an unlimited practice test thing in the software. Always go through that thing. Like today, far me 33 MCQs and tested one, 33 MCQs and tested two are there. So uh, I will sit for 66 MCQs in one go. In unlimited practice test, uh, though the questions are same unlimited practice test, but you develop a confidence next level. And after practicing sixty six simulations, I know that there are eight simulations that are going to come in my exam. So I would practice for eight simulations. So I said unlimited practice test is the best thing. I I would suggest that you use the software properly and you can uh, get a good score. Okay. So should we also revise all the simulations before the exam, Dhruv, or not required? I I think so. uh only in regulation okay i to be frank in regulation i revised all the sims baki to i only went with the unlimited test thing so usme jitne simulations aaye that thing i revised okay so dhruv another question comes is how do you used to study theory topics effectively do you have any particular technique to grasp the theory topics uh i think so uh, theory बिकॉज सी थियरी कैसा है कि वो लोग लाइन टू लाइन लिखना नहीं है वहां पे राइट इफ यू नो द कंसेप्ट देन एमसीक्यूज आपको आने ही आने हैं तो जस्ट टेक द कंसेप्ट ऑफ टॉप फिर जैसे कि आज फार में यू नो फास्ट बी इज द अकाउंटिंग अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड सेटिंग बोर्ड दो इट इज अ थियरी बट आपको पता है फास्ट बी है ये तो आई नो मतलब फिर देयर इज नो थिंग ऑफ मगिंग अप ओके ओके so uh, sharani i hope you understand that so there is nothing called as mugging up or grasping that it's more about uh, i would say conceptual studies so i have heard that more the correct answers the question gets tougher is it a ai based examination what you faced in your time also so uh, actually at uh, this thing i heard from you sir only right so that after completing your first part if it is aapka acha gaya then second part is tougher for you aisa main suna tha but uh i don't think as of hoga <laughs> totally unaware of it <laughs> okay. but shripal sir knows something about it because i have heard from him that aisa kuch hota hai yeah, that ai okay so guys dhru have not faced this so i might be wrong also again <laughs> so what i have seen basically nagendra is the more you give the correct answers the more tougher it becomes but agar banda topper hai to usko sabhi easy lagenge right nagendra so if the person himself knows everything so everything will look easy so that's why that answer is not applicable to dhruv logically okay so he is not the right person to answer that question also okay so hi shripal sir thank you so much for arranging the session i have a question to you and dhruv you both are chartered accountants is it possible to complete far in 2 months for a person who do not have ca background can a person able to manage and understand the concepts well and crack the exam if we put in a sincere effort sri ram yes dhruv yeah if you are non qualified ca i will give i will just suggest one thing go with simanta lectures because they are in depth because if you go with the backer lectures they are pointed lectures so if you are non qualified ca it is difficult for you to understand so always go with simanta lectures and you will get the whole of the concepts because far my concepts see main hai kyunki bahut volume nahi hota hai far aap thak jaoge beech by f5 f6 pe aata thak jaoge so go with the concepts and i think simanta is doing a great job there thank you dhruv uh, again thank you for your kind words uh, so chetanya has a question what is a pattern you used to follow for solving unlimited practice tests should we do after every chapter or at the end of that yeah so uh, basically uh, after completing my first section of par right f1 i would give the simulator uh, unlimited test 20 mcqs and two simulations to be precise and at the end when i complete all the 10 sections then jab time bachta tha tab i would give unlimited practice tests jitne aapka mcqs you are comfortable at a one go so you can go with that okay uh i wanted to ask how did you navigate through the authoritative literature in exam uh is it just becker practice or did you read the authoritative literature to familiarize yourself no i didn't went to the literature the becker practice is enough you can get hold of it they have given enough simulations with respect to the authoritative literature and you will get hold of it during the exams also no need to worry it will take only 10 minutes to complete one of the that simulation super 
so uh, what is the pattern uh, uh, tips for audit <laughs> i scored 91 so how can i give you tips <laughs> uh, basically audit kaisa hai ki samajhna zyada hai you need to be an auditor to solve the audit paper because there are many many concepts which are you know requires in depth knowledge ke pata hona chahiye ki agar aap aise mug karke chale gaye ke methods kya hai to you won't be able to answer the mcqs there so how much you used to score in the mock test of every subject <laughs> i only remember of regulation i scored 97 in regulation and far mein pehle mein 79 aaye the second mein 89 aaye bc some 90 plus the mock test mein okay Hello, Sri Pal sir and Dhruv. I am also a CA student. Failed six times in CA exams. I have kind of fear with professional examination, so bit scared before going for CPA exam. I enrolled with Simander, but uh, still I am a bit scared. So, any tips on how to overcome the fear for the professional exams? So, if he is pursuing CA right now, so I think he should focus only on one degree at a time. And if you are going with US CPA, don't worry. uh just get the whole of the concepts itna hard nahi hai see jitna i can assure you that thing it is more of logical ca mein there is both aapko mug bhi karna hai aur apply bhi karna hai yahan pe totally application skills hai so don't uh, get scared out of it so uh one more tip which i want to give uh, actually uh, dhruv to him is please ensure that if you fail you have to study in such a manner that you make the institute feel that they have done wrongly by failing you right? so that's what dhruv have done so he passed in such a manner that the institute itself feels that yaar hum log ne inko fail hi kyun kiya tha so that should be the attitude whenever you fail the problem is when we fail we tend to take it less seriously thoda personal lena bahut zaruri hai failure ko success ko personal mat lo राइट सक्सेस को पर्सनल लेते हो तो आप कहीं पे भी जा सकते हो बट फेलियर को डेफिनेटली द ओनली प्लेस आई वुड से वेर ईगो हैज टू बी यूज इज फेलियर एंड रेस्ट ईगो हैज नो प्लेस वॉट सो एवर सो वेन एवर यू आर सक्सेसफुल डोंट यूज ईगो बट वेन एवर यू आर फेल प्लीज एंश्योर दैट यू यूज ईगो अ लॉट दैट हाउ कैन आई फेल हाउ कैन अ पर्सन ऑफ माई लेवल कैन फेल दिस एग्जाम आई थिंक दैट वुड बी द स्ट्रेटेजी टू एंश्योर दैट यू नेवर फेल इन योर एग्जाम्स make sense so have a good kind of self respect and attitude when you fail any of the exams okay dhruv how much focus should be on it mcq and simulations in bc it chapter chapter 6 yeah so uh, it chapter totally it is matlab aapko usme kuch terms to bahut hi technical terms hote hai so you need to refer uh, extra things for that such as jaise ki simandar provide karta hai right for that it support so you need to refer that thing ki i been personally i am not an it guy mujhe pata bhi nahi chalta kya ho raha hai so practice more of that terms so you get familiar with that terms so aapko wah mcq mein problem nahi aati wahan pe correct so uh, guys who are watching us what dhruv is telling us simandar has an additional mcqs on it which will be there on our lms guys so whoever is enrolled with simandar please ensure that you solve those additional multiple choice questions Uh, of it and i think that should be sufficient because yeah. becker at times don't cover entire it so that's what uh, dhruv is telling that do attend those mcqs also so that you are confident in the it part which is chapter 6 because that is considered to be at times uh, heavy weightage chapter though i am not allowed to disclose any of the <laughs> questions or what is heavy weightage and what is not but as people say that that is definitely a good weighted chapter okay i have one question when we read more and more theory there is always a fear to forget what we have studied earlier how to overcome this i think this happens a lot uh, dhruv in uh, uh, far pa, when you study two three chapters you forget <laughs> the first three chapters so how do you ensure that you uh, uh, register so much of content in your head so uh, as i told earlier also that after completing the first section i will give the unlimited test right so wapas recap ho jata hai then after going f2 again test f3 again test so it is 20 mcqs only but you get a confidence right when you appear for the mini exam that is after the three or four sections whatever whatever it may be so then you go with the flash cards so the concepts get deeper in you and then you sit for the mini exam so you know that ha ye concept pata hai aata hai so basically it's about concept thing agar aapko pata hai 
तो आपको वहां पे भी आएगा इन द एग्जाम ऑल्सो ओके How difficult can it get for someone who just post graduate in commerce and have, and do not have any professional degree knowledge like CA, CMA? So they are just a BCom group. So just to clarify, people here, there are a lot of BCom people who have passed CP exam. So it doesn't mean that if you are a CA, then only you can pass, or if you are a CA only, then you can understand the concept because he passed CA also with that knowledge only that he can understand the concept. So before CA also he was a BCom guys, right? Yeah. so that's what i would say yes uh, dhru what would be your take so bcom uh, so i am really happy that he is going for a professional degree after bcom so the main thing is that you uh, because bcom me itna sab concepts nahi aata i know that thing so just refer the simander lectures so aapko concepts aa jayenge and then you will be good to go with your exams exam paper i don't think so there will be any difficulty for you from a non ca to ca guy okay if my grammar is not very good then will it impact my bec exam written communication test your grammar skills uh, i think so so you need to practice that thing uh, that's the only thing which will perfect your scores for the written communications and i think one good strategy through which you said in the beginning of the video was to copy paste the content yeah. and put in a word document word. and just check for the spell checks spell checks yeah right so that also hmm. would help uh, person who have asked that i think it is anonymous attendee so i don't know who is that how can you manage lectures and mcqs within one and a half month this is highly unimaginable sanika is asking so through how did you do that lectures and mcqs everything within one and a half month consistency is the key i think so because it asked to 10 hours i used to study dedicatedly so it is possible by studying that ask but consistently ऐसा नहीं कि एक दिन आठ घंटे फिर नेक्स्ट डे फोर आवर्स एंड नेक्स्ट डे सनिका व्हाट ध्रुव इज टेलिंग दैट एट एंड हाफ टू टेन आवर्स इज व्हाट यू यूज्ड टू स्टडी एंड अगेन इन लेक्चर आल्सो देयर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स समटाइम्स द स्टूडेंट थिंक आर नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दे कैन स्टडी ऑन देयर ओन सो दे टेंड टू फास्टर दैट्स व्हाट ही वाज टेलिंग दैट इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ रिकॉर्डेड लेक्चर्स सो वेयरएवर यू थिंक दैट यू डोंट फेस एनी डिफिकल्टी यू कैन जस्ट टेक इट फॉरवर्ड दैट लेक्चर राइट Yeah. I mean in the live class you can't tell the teacher re phata phat padao hum log ko bhi next chapter pe jana hai you cannot talk like that right so whenever a faculty is teaching so what he tend to tell uh, tell that in the recorded you have that flexibility to move around whatever is not important you might not go through in detail and also wherever you face any difficulty you refer that and you move around okay so i think that's uh, that's what is what uh, he is telling and again 8 and half to 10 hours uh, every day Uh, so that is what is what uh, is that okay cool so i think the next question just so i am uh, uh, i am unable i am a working professional and i am unable to dedicate as much time as is needed for the course i don't have any financial obligation either as of now so what do you want to suggest me should i quit my job and study full time kavita sharma yes dhru okay uh so two two parts do you want us cp as your qualification if yes quit your job if no then continue with your job <laughs> i would suggest that thing okay so again i would also suggest kavita but don't take me tomorrow responsible for my opinion ki sir aapke wajah se maine job chhod diya tha ye wo i would tell that if you have passed cp a definitely 100% samandar can give a guarantee that we can place you so my advice would be that if you don't have any financial obligations anything as such so you may quit your job and study dedicatedly uh for 8 9 or 10 months and finish off the course that's all i is what i would say but again don't make me or dhruv responsible for that so we don't take any responsibility but i can tell that would be a better thing in case if you think that you can study full time for a ca fresher is it advisable to do cpa right after qualifying or should i wait for some time through what would be your advice if you are if there is no financial obligations for you and then i think you should go with the cpa because nowadays global recognition is the thing which is required only ca maybe ca is also ca is also that important but having a global recognized degree this will advance your career like anything okay so as uh, again strategy for audit subject i think kunal uh, you have already covered that you can actually go through uh, 
Uh, okay, so I'm a 46 year old. Can I do CPA? 110 percent. We have people who have done 48 years old, which is uh, Sita Ram. We have 42 years old Anuj who got the CPA license a couple of days back. So there are several. We have 40 years age uh, Purvi. So there are a lot of people who are 45, 46, 49, 50, 55. What is important is start studying, guys. That is a question. That's what Dhruv is telling. Study 10 hours, 11 hours, 14 hours, 15 hours, how much hours you can put on a daily basis. Please ensure that you put in and there is no reason why you can't pass this exam. Right? Okay. If there is any time bracket that you, is there any time bracket that you should complete the CPA within XYZ months if I'm aiming for Elijah Watt cells? Okay. So see guys, if uh, if you want to qualify for Elijah Watt cells award, you should complete all the four sections within the calendar year and in the first attempt, right? So first condition is within the same calendar year. Second condition is you must clear it off in the first attempt. Third condition is that you must get an average of 95.5 in four sections. So Dhruv have got 98, 98, 97, and 91. So his overall average is 96. Kavneet have got 99, 98, 97, or something 93. So his average is 96.25. So Dhruv was very close to beat <laughs> Kavneer, uh, but he couldn't. So, but still 96 out of 100, that is what these two guys have achieved. One have achieved 96.25, second have achieved 96. So, but aggregate has to be 95.5. So these are the three conditions guys to achieve the Elijah Watson award. I hope this clarifies for people who wanted to ask, is there a time bracket or not? Okay. Then same calendar year, but if I enrolled in September, then... So it will be taken on that particular year. So that is what it is. So just see that, uh, what is it? Okay. Next, what is the total investment required to pursue for CPA? So Atul, we have our team there. I think Radha is, Radha Reddy is replying on the YouTube videos. So please do get in touch with our team on 7780273388 to contact and get register yourself for the CPA exam. Okay. I am also qualified you, uh, CMA and working professional. Every day I study six hours a day. Is it sufficient? What do you suggest, Dhruv? Yeah, 100%. Being a working professional and studying six hours, that's really great. Consistently, okay. but, but just uh, make sure that you consistently study for six hours every day. Then I think you are better than me. <laughs> exactly. So guys, again, six hours uh, is what he's talking about is six quality hours. Not on WhatsApp, social media, that person is getting blazed, this person is doing that. So when we are talking about six hours, six focused hours of studying and actually abandoning the social media and all other stuff and just focusing on the exams itself, right? So that is what is meaning of focused hours. So how long the process will take to get registration and cost of the exam, excluding the coaching fees? So... How much time did you take for the process? I know Dhruvi have appreciated some other team for the entire process of CPA evaluation and all. But how much time did you took for your entire evaluation process and uh, registration for the first exam? Uh, sir, I actually don't remember actual days because I enrolled for the Simander on in November. And I think within 15 to 20 days, the formalities from R and are over. And it's all from there and they need to reply and edit. Uh, they need to complete the formalities. Okay. So guys, I think one and a half to two months, but people who are watching us out, don't wait for the evaluation report to come because we have over 7,000 students. So we are thoroughly experienced in how do we do our evaluation and all. So don't wait. Nahi, evaluation report aayega, eligible bolega, tabhi main padai start karunga. No, don't do that. You study simultaneously. You don't wait for the evaluation report to come. We are thoroughly an experienced institute having so many students. So many of them have scored 97, 98s and all. So don't worry, right? So Dhruv and Kavneet are actually become consistent in all the four, but there are a lot of other people who have scored 99, 98s also from Samandar. So there are uh, a lot of examples like that. It's just that you need to ensure that you trust the institute and trust their evaluation process and all and you study, just study, that's it. Right. Apart from that, just leave it to us. Uh, it's only thing is Simandar cannot go to the university and collect your documents. I think rest other things we can do it. Right. So that at least you should go to the university and collect the transfer. We still have certain agencies who do on your behalf also, where you need to pay certain bucks. Right. So we are tied up with those agencies also in case if you feel very lethargic enough to visit those universities. 
okay cool so uh dhruv didn't do all the exams in one go so like he said i think some of them have missed out in the first initial beginning hours so he started off uh doing one and a half one and a half so overall eight months he took for all the four exams at different months right okay i think thank you so much dhruv it was uh, good you, 50 minutes of interaction with you yeah uh we'll be looking forward to meeting you in hyderabad very soon and <laughs> yeah sure sure and uh, definitely your ipad is waiting so we are extremely proud of you dhruv yeah. and i can't express how much a teacher is happy when his student is successful not only successful but also getting 98s and 99s and today i was very happy when you got a call from big four also immediately yeah. next day shows that uh that you are doing you are working hard it's just not about getting the success but also preparing for the interviews i hope that samandar will place you very soon at a rapid rate and also finish your licensing procedures also and after passing and getting the license also just stay with samandar thank yeah, you sure. so much dhruv <laughs> yeah thank you sir take care everyone thank you so much for watching thank you, thank you so much thank you